Hello everybody and welcome back to the Andhofer YouTube channel. This week the member lamp is pink, chosen by our family helper Hufflepuffer. And today we are unboxing this package from Poor Amor Arts. So I'm not gonna make very much of this opening. I have Helped it a little bit, and it should be all ready to be opened. And it was! So, we see some paperwork straight away. What do we have right here? We have a little receipt. Very nice. And else, we have a little pointy thing. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna have these all over the place now. <laughs> There we go. Some of the first package or product. Oh, oh, this is small. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, put that aside. We get a little business card with a little bit of information and a lot of scanny things. Very cool. Very cool. And we have this. Very nice. Okay, I'm just gonna check if there's any more. I think I don't think there is. There is, there is some more. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, maybe, maybe I know what this is. Two seconds. Okay, with everything out of the package, let's start by looking at, well, the thing I'm mostly looking forward to, this little, this little nest. We of course get a little pipette, always nice to add it to the collection. And we get this little, very nice little packaged package. So this right here is the Honey Cell Mini. And I gotta tell you, on the pictures on the website, you can see there's a queen inside and she's like filling quite a lot of the nest. And and it isn't Photoshop, it is really small. I mean, it's, it's good because it's for founding colonies. Wow, it's so cute. Interesting, interesting. But we also get these little red covers and they just stick onto there. Very nice. And then the black covers, do they also just stick? Oh, that's so cool. And then you can also black off the other side. So you have just all dark nest. And of course you can look inside. Very cool. So next under this is this little mini jumbo all-in-one from Macarium. Now this has an outworld and a nest all built together. Once more, we also have the little thank you sticker. Very cute, very cute. And with it peeled off, everything simply comes apart. Damn. It's fun because this is actually bigger than what I expected. Interesting. And then we have the nest over here with the red and the black Ah, this is really cool. Now what if this is, is it's it's natural nest. Oh, okay, okay, wait. Okay, for a second I was like, is, is this an outworld? I knew, I knew it was an outworld. Ah, oh, that's... <laughs> that's fun. So it, yeah, clicks in place. Very cute. And smart thinking. Now with this all in place, it's now time to go to the last product. Now, there may be a little bit of assembly required here. Maybe just, maybe just a tiny bit, because this is actually one of the, or maybe you just put it down here. Okay, may, may, maybe, maybe there isn't really any assembly. Now, with everything assembled, you can see there's also this little staircase in front so the ants can get down. Now, what is really cool is that you can simply just put it like this, and then you have a little cute test tube set up. But it's not all, there's a few more bits and bobs to this setup. And first of all, we have a package with some more bits and bobs. And then we also have one more pipette. Never go down on pipettes, everybody. And we have some tweezers, really nice plastic tweezers. Now, what one thing I love about plastic tweezers is you can be really gentle and careful compared to more iron tweezers. They're a little bit more aggressive. 
But let's look at these feeders right here. So in this little pack, we actually have quite a few different things. Now, once more, I must say, I'm impressed because I'm actually not completely sure what they are, all are. But first of all, we first of all have a little feeding dish, a little 3D printed feeding dish where you can put some liquids or some protein on. Then we also have this little, really small little feeding dish now. I'm imagining that this can be put inside the test tube, if I'm not all wrong. And then lastly, we have a liquid feeder. Now, what, these are actually quite big compared to normal liquid feeders. They're quite um, quite thick. Normal, very, normal liquid feeders are very thin. But this bad boy is actually quite thick. And then it has this mesh in the middle. Really cool, really cool. But yeah. That has been an unboxing of Pomo Arts. Let's go into a little bit more details of all of these products. Hello again. So I'm just a little bit in the future because I now have a better understanding of all of these products. And of course, I'm gonna give you the entire look down of the Pomo Arts Nest products that I've just unboxed. Starting with the small nest. The Honey Cell Mini Founding Formicarium, as it's officially known, is a small founding nest for your ants. It comes with a red plastic film to help darken the ants within, or a black 3D printed cover for ultimate darkness. The nest is hydrated using a syringe filling up the small hydration compartment. As this nest is mineral substrate based, the water slowly seeps into the nest. At least that is what I thought when I looked at the nest for the first time. But after hydrating the nest and talking a little bit with Pomo Arts, this system is actually a bit unlike other watering hydration systems. Instead of the water slowly seeping into the nest, the water stays in this humidity compartment and slowly evaporates, creating a more humid area within the nest. This nest also comes with an expansion port being a small tube. Disclaimer, this tube is actually quite small, with an outside diameter of 9.5 mm being around 3 eighths of an inch. I'm not that good with inch numbers. So at least it's a lot smaller than what I expected when I got it. If you are from Europe, the tubes will be a little bit small, because here in Europe our tubes are generally a little bit bigger. So it's not a bad thing, just a little thing, so you know that your tubes may not fit your regular tubes. That's a lot of tubes in one sentence. Where many common ant nests are 3D printed based, the inside of the honey cell is based around four layers of composed minimal substrate and minimal additives. This gives the inside of a nest a quite unique look not many other ant nests have. However, the outside is still 3D printed. Now the next thing we're gonna be talking about is this elevated outworld platform. And as you can see, it's quite unlike any other nest that I've personally seen. With the elevated outworld platform, you of course get the platform itself. Together with that, you also get a specialized test tube. And what does specialized mean? Well, as you can see, this is no regular test tube. This special test tube has a long cotton water keeper. The purpose of the cotton water keeper is to avoid bad cotton blocks. With the cotton water keeper, you simply add the water, then input the water keeper, and lastly input the cotton. This way you have a nicely looking cotton block in the tube and as there's something in the back you can push the cotton all flat so it looks really cool. With the cotton block in you can add the insert with substrate. What this means is you now have a good looking cotton block with a cool looking naturalistic insert. And finally there's the small staircase also known as the entrance adapter. The entrance adapter comes with a hole between 2 and all the way up to 6 millimeters that you can choose yourself. With everything put together, your setup looks like this. But what is the point of this setup? Well, it creates a more fun way of starting your ant colony. And by putting everything on an elevated outworld with a water container, you get an all-in-one setup where the ants can't escape and you end up having this open-minded setup. Because you don't have any physical barriers with the water in the bottom being the barrier so the ants can't escape. So now you have this open-minded setup. Now what you can do is, I talk with Pomo Arts why I got this. This is a little wall that you can put around the setup. Now what thing is, is ants can be dumb sometimes and if ants go crazy, they may run out of the nest and fall down the water. We don't want that. Now for something like a Formica Fusca colony, just by looking at them, they go quite crazy. And if you have a colony that goes crazy, well by putting this on, 
the ant will run into the wall and not fall down. So it's a little bit of a wall protection for dumb ants. Really smart thinking from Palmer outside. And we can't forget the short black jacket. Yes, that is the real name of this little black thing to just create optimal darkness for the colony within. You can get the short black jacket. I love that name. That must be the best name for an ant accessory I've ever heard. Short black jacket. And with that, you have the fully completed setup with the elevated outworld platform. And again, the uses for this nest is mostly for a small founding colony, but I just think it is so outside the normal box that I just had to own one and test it out myself. Now the last thing I unpacked was the Mini Jumbo All-in-One Famicarium. The Mini Jumbo All-in-One Famicarium comes with a few things. First of all, of course, the nest, which we're gonna talk about in a second. But as this is a kit, you also get a small feeding dish with a knob for each removal. Together with that, there's also a liquid feeder, and finally you get a pair of tweezers to complete the set. Now the liquid feeder is a little bit special, as it has a 3D printed base and a glass bottle. But unlike many liquid feeders, this one raises the water from the ground. Now what ants love to do with liquid feeders is fill up the bottom right here with trash. But as the water is lifted up, the ants can't go up and put trash in it. At least it makes it a lot harder. So instead of you having this dirty liquid feeder, it is up here. And again, unlike many liquid feeders, instead of it being like a wide base, it's really unlike any liquid feeders I've personally seen. And I think it looks super cool and unique compared to the many others we see on a daily basis. Now time for the nest. Just like with the Honey Cell Mini, the inside of the nest is covered in four layers of compost mineral substrate. This once more gives the nest a more natural look and feeling for the ants. Now what I really like about the Mini Jumbo Nest is its expandability. You can simply add an additional nest on its side, and if it is a Mini Jumbo, they just fit perfectly together, which I think is super cool. But another thing I really love about Pomo Arts is that if you take two different nests made by Pomo Arts, they will still be around the same height. So you can connect different nest types together without this problem of a tube being up here and the other tube being down here. All of the products simply can connect together around the same height, which I find really nice and really cool. But else with this nest, there are three ways out. One on each side of the nest and one in the back leading out to the small outworld. In the outworld, there are two glass sides and two 3D printed sides. The lid is also 3D printed and has a big hole for ventilation. And because we don't want the ants to escape, the hole is covered in a steel mesh. Finally, on the back, there's a further expansion port. Of course, this nest once more also comes with a red plastic film or a black 3D printed cover. And because I'm a guy who overwaters my ants quite frequently and I don't want you to overwater your ants, let's just have a quick chat about how you actually hydrate these nests. So of course you have a little hole right here where you just put water into this little water compartment. Now what you will have to do is you will have to observe how long it takes for the water to simply evaporate within the nest. Then wait a few days and depending on if it's a species that is a high humidity or a low humidity, you simply fill up the chamber halfway or the, the more you fill up, of course, the more humidity you get inside the nest. But after talking with poor more ads, I don't recommend that you hydrate the nest straight after the water stops being there. Wait a few days and hydrate it on a regular basis. Now one final thing before we end the video that just really explodes my mind is that all of these nests are handmade. Of course, we have 3D printed covers and 3D printed walls, but the inside of the nest are handmade. Handmade! God damn, that's attention to detail. And I don't know, I just love the thinking of the products are actually handmade. Meaning it's not just a machine that's pumping out everything. It's That's also okay. But just that I know that they have been so much in and worked and made the chambers. It's just, it's incredible. So to just end this video off with my final thoughts, I think these products are really amazing and what is a little bit sad for me is I don't personally see many of these products in use. Of course, Pormo Arts is a relatively new company, only having around two years of making nests. But I don't know, I'm really impressed by the quality and I would love to see more people use them. Saying that, of course I don't have any ants within any of these setups at the moment, but I will straight away move my Tetramorphin Caspitum into this setup and hopefully as they grow out of this setup, start using this setup and as they grow out of this setup, 
Well, that'll be a long time, but maybe there's this setup. So I can't wait to get my colonies within the setups. And it's just also that everything is glass. I really love that it's glass. So it doesn't just scratch if you hit it with your watch or something. As it's glass, it's a lot more durable, which I just find really nice. Now, before we end the video, we of course have the beautiful members. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm recording this right now where I'm doing my 24 hour live challenge. So we, I'm doing a stream right now, a 24 hour stream, not stream, not 24 hours, but a long stream. And looking at the member list, it's quite a lot longer than last time. Uh, because we just had a lot of people decide, let's go crazy and uh, go crazy and then all become members. Thank you all, because that is just incredible. So starting off, we of course have the family members. And we have a new family member being Ryan from Anscapes. Thank you for being a family member. Together with Medical Carcase number 9 and Ants Norway. Now we have so many new Hall for Helpers that I gotta look at the list over here. Because it is insane. So... I, I need to remember all of your names now. We have Covern Co Co. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name correct. We have I'm just I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you Co. We have Co. We have Antimatters. We have Ant Kelly. We have Jazz P. We have Casper. We have Poor More Arts. Thank you, Poor More Arts. We of course have Fairy93. We have Akushi. We have Ants Antic. We have myself for testing purposes maybe, and we have Half Fluffer. And lastly, we have Stan's Ant. So a big thank you to all the members, and if you are looking to try a new nest and you don't quite know what to try, please try Pour More Arts, because I think they have a truly unique nest, and I'd love to see more people use them. With that all out of the way, don't forget to like and subscribe, become a member today, if you like, and I will see you all in another video. Bye!